Hello everyone and welcome back to finally another day of the Brute Strength series. It's been a little bit of a time away because I've been working extremely hard on my ebook and I actually got it finished now. I just need to have some friends reading it through. It ended up being 41 pages and then like, yeah, I know it's like pretty fucking long for a free ebook, but I didn't just want to make it like seven, eight pages, like below 10, because I don't feel like there's enough substance and I can teach people enough in it. And it was hard enough, just like all the things I had to let out, like let, um, yeah, I have left out of it, just um, writing 41 pages. Um, so I can't even imagine like only, only writing like 10 pages. Yeah. Anyways, um, I took a little bit of a time away from upper body training. Generally, I was just like really exhausted from the, all the stuff with the ebook. Um, yeah, like the only thing I need now is to get a landing page done and get all, all the reviews from the people that are going to read my ebook. Um, and then I can use that on the landing page. But yeah, I felt like extremely exhausted during the week. I also had to give my elbows a little bit of rest and it, it was all um, yeah, I had to get, give, give my elbow some rest and it was like a pretty good idea to just take the rest like immediately when I felt like there was something in my elbows instead of trying to push through because in this session, I, it felt really good. I managed to get 12 um, times 4 kg dumbbells um, press with the 3 seconds eccentrics and I didn't feel anything in my elbows. I then went on to like straight arm flies after that and I could feel that I was a little bit there in my right elbow, but there were nothing in the left elbow. So the overuse that I got from the ring flies has like really f quickly disappeared. And I, because I had the pain on the f on the floor with straight arms, I moved on to doing just flies on the normal flies on the bench, and I basically didn't feel much at all, like barely anything. So that's a really really good sign. I would say the pain was maybe like two out of 10, so barely there. And what I really did during those, um, yeah, during those flies was that I worked a whole ton on him, um, on like the form, because I, I had a conversation with um, Devin Kelly and I sent him a video of like my flies just to get some feedback. And he was like, dude, you're in initiating the movement with your biceps, so, because of, yeah, like for that reason, I decided to go from 28 kilo dumbbells back down to 20 kilo dumbbells. And it's definitely a hard choice to make. Like I always preach getting more out of less weight, but even for me, I end up being emotionally attached to the weight more than I should. Even though, as I've said before, the goal for me with um, the dumbbell presses I'm doing with the flies, with the um, lateral raises and all the triceps isolation. It is not to get stronger at those. It is to build on quality mass that I can use in the future to further improve my overhead press because when I have like such a complex goal where I want to get up towards a 140 kg overhead press like one and a half time body weight, that it takes dedicated work on other things to bring up weaknesses instead of just mindlessly working on the overhead press over and over again when I have maybe I've already like maxed out the technique and I would see way faster progress from getting a little bit muscle mass and then getting back the groove of the technique again and um, then be able, able to utilize that increased muscle mass. I also got, um, got told from a few people that for them actually growing their chest and just in general getting a stronger bench helps them um, increase the overhead press. So that is really um, good to hear that I'm not the only one um, like doing it this kind of way, but there's actually some people out there who can confirm it for me. But yeah, like I think like generally like a lot of people miss out on a lot of things because they don't want to take this kind of approach and they think like as soon as they're going to have to work or work on a goal for like multiple years, they just like 
like the brain shut down. They can't comprehend that. But I will gladly spend like you know twenty years going through um, the education system. But when it comes to strength training, it all has to be right here, right now. If it takes over six months, it's not all right. It has to be programs like Small Off where you can get strong in three months. But eventually, you're going to get injured. All the, all the gains are just going to disappear again fast because fast gains are lost fast, slow gains are kept. That's how the saying goes. And I think that is pretty, pretty true. If you're training in a sustainable way, you're going to have a way easier time keeping up with it and continue making progress. There's a lot of people that come into the game, they get extremely strong, but they only stay there for one or two years and then they burn out get injured or just don't want to train any longer because they don't find it fun or they got weak or something like that. And it would be a way better option for them to just enjoy them, like be in it for like different reasons, not just to get strong, but for the, for the whole journey. Um, like for me, I like the way my fucking chest, like my arms, everything feel doing this. Um, like when I look at this, I can see my my biceps popping in the bottom, like how big of a stretch I'm getting, how deep I'm getting. I like watching that because I know there's not a lot of other people doing it, doing it in that kind of way. And to me, that just seeing my body in like that kind of way just looks fucking cool. Like that's one of the reasons I like doing um, these huge ranges of motion. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And that, it, and then. For me, it makes it a lot easier to reduce the weight. So you saw my dumbbell presses. You are seeing these flies now. You will see my tricep push downs in the end, and it all it's all done with a like a ridiculously slow tempo, spending a lot of time in a stretch position, because the weight is not really important when it comes to, you know, like muscle growth and what I'm trying to achieve. And honestly, like just constantly chasing more and more weight is like the most fatiguing way that you can improve because like if you if you look at the hierarchy of fatigue the number one thing is going to be increases in exertion so the um, proximity to failure if you're going from three reps to, away from failure to one rep away from failure that is going to be ext- extremely um, much more fatiguing the second thing is going to be increases in intensity so just higher loads um, and especially just higher loads relative to one's one rep max the third thing is going to be increases in volume so more reps and more sets and then as the last thing as the quantitative measures we have increases in range of motion and and um, like a slower tempo and for muscle mass those are going to be the absolute best ones to follow because they don't give as much fatigue so you can basically just train harder it's another thing for let's say like deadlift or if you're going to use the squat as a competition lift you obviously want to be able to lift as much as you possibly can and get used to that stimulus but for your accessible work it doesn't really matter how much you lift. If you if you can make it harder by lifting less weight, that's probably a really good idea to do so. And there will be like zero negatives to it. But yeah, I think that is about it for what I wanted to say for this video. It's good to be back on the grind. For me, like there's no better thing than training and that is always going to be like my one number one priority goal. I want to put a lot more effort into YouTube right now um, and just grind that get up to 1000 subscribers and above that i'm probably going to release um, some series on how you can get um, brutally strong i have a whiteboard at home so expect more videos like that as well i will of course keep posting my training now that i'm back on a consistent grind and yeah just um, i hope you all are enjoying it remember to leave a like share it and subscribe to the channel see you all